Okay, this is the question uh, 6.8 from thermodynamics. The reaction of cyanamide, that is NH2CN, it is solid. It reacts with dioxygen to give nitrogen gas, CO2 gas, and H2O liquid in a bomb chlorimeter. Now, what is bomb chlorimeter? Actually, bomb chlorimeter is the one in which volume is fixed, volume is constant. So, in energy change in a bomb chlorimeter is known as internal energy change. Delta U, it is defined as amount of energy change at constant volume. Energy absorbed or released at constant volume is known as delta U. So, you have given delta U value and delta U value is minus 7 42.7 kilojoule per mole. Then it is at temperature 298 Kelvin. We have to calculate enthalpy change of the reaction at the same temperature. So delta H we have to calculate. Now what is the relation between delta H and delta U? So there are two relations. First is Delta H is equal to delta U plus P delta V. And second relation is delta H is equal to delta U plus delta Ng RT. Now see, temperature is given to you. That is 298 Kelvin. Volume is not given anywhere. That means this relation cannot be used. Even pressure is not given. But temperature is given. And by using this equation, you can calculate delta H. That means, relation we have, which we have to use is this one. So, we just write, we know that delta H is equal to delta U plus delta Ng RT. Out of this, delta U we have, temperature we have, R is a constant and it is in Joule, kilojoule. So, value of R that we have to use. You know, students are confused in this. But its value of R is used. So, keep in mind, if it is in Joule, so we have this value. 8.314 Joule per Kelvin per mole. But it is in kilo. kilojoule. So, value of R we have to use in kilojoule. So, to convert Joule into kilojoule, we have to multiply it by 10 raised to power minus, minus 3. So it becomes kilojoule per Kelvin per mole. What is left? Delta Ng. Delta Ng. Now, <coughs> delta Ng for this reaction. Yes. What is delta Ng for this reaction? What is delta Ng? Change in gaseous moles. Mm. So number of gaseous moles of product minus gaseous moles of reactant yeah. only gaseous moles keep in mind yes, sir. so in product how many gaseous moles are there two. two two one nitrogen gas and one Carbon co2 gas. gas h2 is a liquid liquid so number of gaseous moles are two, two. and how many gaseous moles of reactant are there three by two, two. very good because it is solid yes, sir. it is 3 by 2. So how many moles? Delta Ng is equal to 4 by minus 3 means 1 by 2. So delta Ng is 1 by 2. So all the values now we have. Just put the value here. Delta H is equal to minus 742.7 kilojoule per mole. Min plus half delta Ng. What is R? 8.314 into this is key point. If we are writing 8.314 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 because it is taken in kilojoule. So it is 10 raised to the power minus 3. 3 into 298. So what is the value here? 
minus 742.7 plus value is minus 742.7 and value of 1.2 into 8.314 into 10 to the minus 3 into 298 is 1.2. So by subtracting minus 742.7 plus 1.2, it comes out to be minus 741.5 kilojoule per mole. Per mole. So in this way, we calculate delta H. So these are the two things, delta H and delta U. U. What is delta U? Amount of energy absorbed or released. Or released by the system at constant volume. volume volume and what is delta h it is the amount of energy change yeah, that is the amount of energy absorbed, absorbed or released at constant pressure. pressure so keep in mind this is at constant volume volume this is at constant pressure pressure and all other things you know thank you very much for watching this video do like share and comment as well as subscribe my video and don't forget to press bell icon so that you get notification of my next video. Thank you.